Hey, what's up guys? This is my third episode of the best Android launchers for 2014. If you have not been through my previous episode, the link to it is in the description. Basically, in this series of video, I review new Android launchers or updated launchers with new features. So without any further ado, let's begin. The first one here is the Voxis launcher from Cole Fuston. You might be knowing his channel on YouTube. If you don't, make sure you check out his work as he does some amazing videos. Ok, talking about the launcher, you need to pay for this launcher. This launcher is very different from rest of the other launchers, very minimal and changes the way you use your phone. You do get the tutorial on how to use this launcher when you start the launcher for the first time. This is the home page with your favorite apps, you can customize these shortcuts. Just tap and hold and you get options to resize or change them, that is if you want to replace this shortcut with any of the other app, you can do that. And after choosing that app, you get option to choose the icon for that app, whether you want the default icon or the custom icon. So that's great. And let's not forget that this launcher also supports the landscape mode. You also have this animation here. On top, you have the time, which can be changed to 24 hour mode. Over here, you can add your own text. You can customize your text by tapping and holding onto the text here. And to the right, you have the battery percentage again, which can be changed by tapping on it. Swipe to the right and you get this sidebar. This is the multitasking window for this launcher. So all the background running apps are shown here. Accessing the app drawer is also very simple. Just swipe up from the bottom of the screen and there you go. Moving to the next page, you have essential apps that is categorized into various sections like tools, media, social, etc. You also can rename the category according to your preferences and add shortcuts according to the category. Next page is like the desktop. Over here you can add all your shortcuts anywhere you want. That is you can freely move your icons and place it wherever you want. Over here you have your date, you can change your calendar app if you want to and use any other calendar app instead of this app. And at the bottom you have this messaging notification. Moving on to the next page, this is the last page for this launcher, where you can add widgets and resize it in any order you want. So this is the only launcher with this feature. So coming to the launcher settings, here we have phone settings, that is the default settings, Voxis settings from where you can enable wallpaper scroll, time format, icon size, battery percentage, text size that is coming soon, and many more. Again we have widgets, pages, that is you can add additional home screens. So this feature is not available right now, hopefully with the next update we will be getting this. Again, we have wallpapers, fonts, etc. So nothing complicated here, you can just play around with the settings yourself. And just to enhance the overall user experience of this launcher, you need to get the multi-picture live wallpaper, which provides us with a lot of customization options, where you can add additional transition effects like flip and stuff. So a very unique, minimal launcher and that feels very responsive. The next one here is the C launcher. This launcher reminds me of the MIUI launcher, very similar when it comes to the icons, but with this launcher you also get an app drawer. The design and the overall layout of this launcher is pretty simple. This launcher is very smooth, feels very responsive and very good to look at. You get some built-in apps with this launcher like the cache cleaner, where you need to tap on the icon to clean your cache. It's the same with the flashlight app as well. You also get something called beauty center from where you can get themes for this launcher, icon packs, transition effects, ringtones and wallpapers. So guys this is really good as in you can do all of your customizations from a single place. Another cool add-on is that you have this do it yourself theme creator where you can create your own theme, for that you need to register.
Coming to the app drawer, you have all your apps here, nothing much. Tap and hold on an empty space to place widgets. And here you get some widgets from this launcher itself, like lucky background. That is, it will automatically set a wallpaper whenever you tap on this widget. You also get a widget for clearing your memory, called Boost Center. Pressing the menu button will give you additional options like add widgets, shortcuts, etc. You also can manage your home screens and from preferences, you can set this launcher as your default launcher, effect settings that is the transition effects, etc. So nothing much here, so a very good looking launcher. The next one here is the Google Now launcher. This is the stock Android launcher and this is compatible with all the devices running Android 4.1 and above. So this launcher provides us with all the goodies from Android 4.4 KitKat, like the OK Google functionality. This launcher is very simple and uses very less memory. Nothing fancy with this launcher, you can just tap and hold to get additional options like change wallpaper, add widgets, and go to settings. Good thing about this launcher is that all the default widget that you get with your phone will work with this launcher. You will have no issues at all. Overall, this launcher is very simple, fast, and responsive. One thing that is missing is the stock lock screen. I wish we could get the stock lock screen with this launcher. Next one here is the Smart Launcher 2. This is the upgraded version of the Smart Launcher. The overall UI is pretty much the same. This launcher provides us with simplicity without compromising on features. This is the home page. We don't have additional home screens. You need to get the pro version for that. Here you have your date and time which is customizable. And if you want to replace this with any other widget, you can do that as well. Below that, you have all your basic apps like dialer, messaging, camera, music, etc. This is the app drawer, else you can swipe from the left that will take you to the app drawer. Apps are categorized into various categories as you can see here, like communication, apps that requires internet, games, media, etc. Over here you have preferences. From here you can customize this launcher. Under global settings you have different options and everything is explained nicely like status bar visibility, faster apps, screen orientation, left-handed mode, etc. Then we have theme options. You can get tons of themes from the Play Store. Animations, widget support, for that you need to get the pro version again. Next we have gestures, that is you can enable gestures to perform various actions like say launching apps. So let me just give you a quick demo. Lock screen, plugins like notification count, knock off that is double tap to sleep etc. Overall, the launcher is very simple, fast, unique, and with all the necessary features. The next one here is the Everything Me launcher. Again, a very different approach towards launchers. Very unique and functional. So this is the home base. Over here you have this search menu from where you can search anything on your phone or on the web. Below that you have your default smart folders. All your apps are categorized. These folders are called the smart folders because you get app recommendations based on the folder name and even the background of the folder is according to the folder name. And for the folder like around me, you will get widget for Google Maps. You also can add additional smart folders from here where you get various smart folders like finance, food, health, etc. Below that you have time and swiping it up will give you your frequently used apps. So this is again very unique. You have this app called My Day where you get all your upcoming events and the apps that you use the most. Coming to the app drawer, the app drawer is similar to that of the stock jelly bean. You have apps and widgets tab on the top. Nothing much here. Tap and hold on an empty space to get additional options like add apps, smart folders, widgets, change wallpapers and from preferences you can make changes to your launcher like change country, 
number of home screens, height prediction, etc. So guys, you do not get lots of customization options like themes, icon packs, transition effects, etc. But still, very simple and very unique. The next one here is the Turbo Launcher X. Again, a very elegant looking launcher which is highly customizable. As you can see, we get a flatter UI with this launcher. The clock widget is really nice. Again, with this launcher too, we get some built-in apps like Memory Cleaner, 3D Calendar with this awesome effect, etc. Coming to the app drawer, from this menu option, you can have fancy transition effects, you can hide apps, create folders, uninstall apps, etc. So nothing much here. Coming to customizations, you have theme options. You get loads of themes to choose from, which is really nice if you like changing the overall look and feel of this launcher. You have a separate wallpaper app for this launcher as well. Swipe up from the bottom of the screen to get additional settings like launcher settings. Swipe to the right, you will get your toggles. Again, swipe it and you have music controls. So this is something very different from other launchers. Let's get into preferences. From here, you can manage your screen, app drawer, icons, etc. From preview, you can add additional home screens or manage them. From this plus icon, you can add widgets, shortcuts, apps, folders, etc. on your home screen. You can change themes, change wallpapers and the transition effect. So a very stylish and a highly customizable launcher. The last one for today's episode is the Buzz Launcher. If customization is your priority, this is the ultimate launcher for you. On the beginning, you get to choose from different home packs. Home packs are like themes, but each home pack have a completely different UI, from icons to widgets, transitions, and the overall look and feel. So this is the home screen, and as you can see this icon on the widget, that means this widget needs to be downloaded. You can just tap on it and download it from the Play Store, or change it with your stock widget. You also have additional home screens with this home pack. So let's go ahead and try a different home pack. Tap and hold on an empty space and you will get all these options. Choose home pack buzz that will take you to the buzz store. From here you can choose from a lot of themes. Select the theme you like and hit download. Once done, tap on replace my entire home pack. So there you go guys, we have a completely new UI. So here we have a lot of missing apps for this theme. You can download the apps if you want to. You can swipe up from the bottom of the screen to get to the app drawer. Coming to the app drawer, from the settings icon you can customize your app drawer like create folders, hide apps, grid size, infinite scroll and lastly the launcher settings. From launcher settings you can edit your home screens. App drawer, gestures. So we get some predefined gestures here like swipe up for app drawer, swipe down for notification, etc. We have backup and restore options as well. From here, you can go to Buzz Contents, where you can find wallpapers, icon packs, home packs, and also you can upload your own home pack. You can remove the existing apps and add your own shortcuts. When you place any app, you get to choose the icon size as well as the icon theme. So overall, this launcher is highly customizable, very smooth, uses very less resources depending upon the home pack you use. So that's all for this video guys, thanks a lot for watching, stay tuned for more and you guys have a great time.